Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna just export some JPEGs here real quick and then make a zip file. Just playing around with my final version of my um, of my second project demo. Um, <clears throat> in your case, you'd pretty much want to do the same. So you'd work off your fully layered PSD. Um, you, you would have already set black and white point. Just everything the, the same, pretty much just like you were gonna print. Um, you might not use your black and white point, but you just set it and at least know where it is. Um, and then make a submaster file. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to make it directly from this PSD. Um, and, and you can do that too. Because again, we're not printing, but so, you know, it's, it's fine. Um, so it's just as long as there's two different versions. So here we go. Um, I'm going to call this version one. So I've got all the layers on that I'm going to use. So that's version one and then I'm going to turn that off and then I'm going to go for a different version which will be version 2. Um, let's see how we're going to do that. I'm going to make it a blue one and I'm going to have the dog be a little different in this one. So version 2. There we go. And then merge stamp visible on that. So now I've got two different versions um, in my layers palette. There's version 1 or in version 2 or really version 1 and then version 2. So in this case, I'm just going to select these two guys, copy, new, is it there, paste, I'm going to go back to that file again, turn this guy off, grab the blue one, copy, and come back over here and paste. So there's two. This is sort of my sub-master file, or the file that I'm going to make the JPEGs from. Um, so there's a number of ways you could do that. I'm just going to select this one, make a new file. I just want them in two separate files. So there's JPEG 1, and I'm just going to delete this layer. And so now I've got JPEG 1 here and JPEG 2 here. It's just good to kind of have them. So it's version 1 and version 2. And then I just go to File, um, uh, Export, <clears throat> and then we're going to Export As. And then we're just going to Export As JPEG. So then <clears throat> we've uh, demoed this before. So you just want to choose JPEG. Um, you know, these, could, these don't need to be 9 megs. That's pretty big um, for a JPEG, so we can bring down the quality a little bit here, just to like 80%. I'm probably going to cut it in half a little bit. 4.3 megs, perfect. That's absolutely perfect. <clears throat> so I'm just going to export that. When you export the JPEGs, you want to have your name, and then call that the first JPEG, your name 01. I'm just going to make a new folder. And I'm going to put your name on my folder, right? So whatever your name is, just make a folder. And then there's your new folder, and your name 01.jpg is going to go right in that folder. And then I'm going to go to the second one here. These are sort of the sub-master files. <clears throat> and same thing, file, export, as, and then we're going to use jpeg. Going to look at how big it gets. That's a good size JPEG, doesn't need to be quite that big, so I'm going to drop it down to about 80%, see if we can get it under 5 megs. <clears throat> I'm going to bring it up a little bit actually in quality. Um, so here's your quality, and bring it up here to 90% in quality. That's fine, right around 5 megs would be fine for this. Um, uh, so there you go. Um, you could embed the color profile if you want. Um, not going to make that much difference. So then just export all. And then your your name dot, that'd be o2.jpg. And I'm going to put that in the folder here um, for project two. I was practicing it earlier. So there you go. And export all. I usually go ahead and check that. Um, if you could also um, have the color chart up. I didn't finish mine, but this is from the demo. This is my TIFF. So if you can print the, if you could make a JPEG also of the color chart that you printed, that would be great too. So that's just the same, basically. So bring up the TIFF that you printed, which was your color chart, and go to File, Export, and then Export As, and then just give me a JPEG of that. Very simple. Choose JPEG and bring the quality down so it's around 
five megs. That's already below five megs, so 639.6K, no problem. Just hit export. If you need to just bring it around five megs, adjust quality down until you get there and hit export all. And we're gonna call that just color chart two and just put that in the same folder uh, as the rest of your project. So there should be three JPEGs, version one, version two, and then color chart two or color chart, whatever your color chart is. Just ex export the color chart. Okay, so let's look at this on the desktop real quick. And we're gonna look at, sorry, uh, we're gonna look at it here. Here I'm gonna call this your name. This is our project two. So your folder consists of this many things. So three JPEGs, a version one, a version two, and then a color chart. And, and that is pretty much that. And all you have to do then is take that file and basically just um, compress. And it's under File on the Mac. It's under File, Compress, Color Chart. Or sorry, you want to compress this folder, my bad. So if you select it on whatever inside of it, you want to select on the folder itself. Does that, does that make sense? So go to File, Compress, and it should say the name of your folder. And what that does is that makes a zip file out of it. So then it'll use the name of the folder, or the directory is really what it's called. And then it'll make a zip file out of it. And what that allows for then is a, a, a singular file that is a folder full of images. Um, because students can only upload up to five, um, uh, five separate files. And you don't want to have uh, five files um, be uh, uploaded. You want to upload just one file. Uh, so then there is your zip file. It's right there. Because um, what happens if you upload like three separate files, I'll get three separate emails for each separate image. So you just want to send one email to your sender. And I'll show you how that works. It's super simple. You log in to um, UH File Drop, which I already have. You'll have to get a push so you log into your UH, just Google UH file drop or UHM file drop. And then you log in uh, with your username and password. And then my recipient name will be here. Just type my email. Yeah. And then give it like a, a week uh, to ex expire. You could write me a message. Yo. <laughs> Here's my stuff. You get the idea. And then hit proceed. And then what it'll do is give you the options to choose the file. And then you'll navigate to the desktop. And then you'll select uh, that zip project, uh, that zip file. Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, your name dot zip and then choose. And then it will start upload. That's about a 10 meg file. And what will happen is then I will get an email from you um, saying that you've uploaded a zip file for me and then I can go grab it. You can see, actually I can probably pull up my email and see if I get it. Yeah, see, so I'll get, a, I'll get an email that looks roughly like this from you. And then all I have to do is click there, and I download your zip, and I'm ready to roll. All right. Okay. Catch you guys on the flip side. Later.